po si Usin Atan, taga dito sa Santa Cruz Island. Pinanganak ako dito, 1974, 45 years old. Ito po ang aking kwento. gamit namin para makakuha ng kugita yung octopus. Minsan makakuha kami ng dalawa tatlo kapag maganda yung panahon. Nilalaglag namin lang ito sa ibabaw ng darat. Kinakain kasi ito ng octopus eh. Kaya pag nararamdaman namin na medyo mabigat na siya yun, hinihila namin na. Ito na rin yung kinabubuhay namin hanggang ngayon. Yung mga pinagpag-aaral ko sa mga anak ko, naghahanap buhay dito sa isla na ito. Ano-ano na lang klaseng, basta anak buhay ginagawa. Basta karangalan lang. Mas marami yung noon, kasi medyo kulang din yung mga naghahanap buhay ng ganito. Yung kami-kami lang dito, ngayon medyo marami na kunti na rin ang buha. Mahirap talaga ang buhay ng mangingisda kasi malami, marami kang kalaban. Minsan kasi nag-octopus kami tapos medyo malaki ang alon. Nalulunod kami dyan sa kuwan, sa gitna na yan. Ganito yung gamit namin, bangka-bangka. Yun, nag-uwi na lang kayo, nawala yung mga gamit namin kasi nalunod kami. Hindi mo alam yung panahon, hindi tayo marunong. Bigla na lang lumakas yung alon, lumakas yung hangin. Kaya nga, minsan umiyak din kami sa laut eh. Ganito pala yung walang pinag-aralan tulad namin. Kaya nangingista lang yung alam namin na trabaho. po ay si Yasin Julayli. Uh, ako po ay isang mangingisda. Ang buhay ng isang mangingisda talagang mahirap. Kasi minsan may huli ka, minsan wala. Ang hindi kong makalilimutan sa pangingisda, yung maabutan ng bagyo sa laot. Katawid mo talaga yung bangka mo kahit hindi kaya. Kailangan makauwi ka. Medyo mahirap ang paghuli ng kugita. Kasi dito sa amin, sa mga tabi ng island lang kung kugita ang pag-usapan. Ibababa siya sa dagat, pagkatapos hilahan siya ng isang braso, uh, yun na, magsasagwan ka, hilahilahin yun hanggang makahuli ka ng kugita. Mahirap pumuli ng kugita kasi hindi siya siguro gaano karami o hindi siya uh, patok yung ano, yung kagamitan. Minsan yung kalaban mo, bagyo, alon, ganon. 
mahirap kalaga. Hindi nga sapat pangtustos ng pamilya. Hanggang ngayon, mangingisda pa rin ako. Yours truly, I'm Isidro Villayo Jr. I am the Regional Director of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Regional Office No. 9, based in Zamboanga City, Philippines. Yeah, based on our consultation with uh, exporters, fishers, and consolidators, the number of uh, volume or uh, for octopus is really declining and then even the sizes of uh, the octopus being exported. As far as the uh, catch is concerned, it is no longer the same as 10 years back. It appears that our uh, fishery resources is dwindling. That is why there is really a need to come up with conservation, protection, of our marine products in order to make this commodity sustainable. I think mostly of our uh, uh, octopus fishers really belongs to the poorest of the poor. One of the factors is that logistics, most of the fishers are located in the islands, not in the mainland. That is why it's difficult for them to, uh, what we call, uh, uh, sell, trade it on a daily basis. Dumarating mga 9, 10, dumarating na sila, katulad Mga dalawang tao lang, mga dalawang bangka, magdala dito sa amin. Oh, mahirap kapag makaunti ang makuha, mabili namin magdala dito. Mga tatlong araw, mag-ice lang kami na mag-ice para ipuno ang isang box pala idala doon sa, sa town. Ako po si Mutarib sa Hawi. Galing po ako sa Basilan. Ito ang aking kwento. Two years na ako nang ista dito sa Arena Blanco. Mga dalawang taon na kami dito nagproseso ng mga octopus, so, mga squid, anon. Panahon, magandang panahon, mga dalawang ice keys, ganon. Pero ngayon malabo, mahina ang panahon. Mga buwan ng mga Marso, Marso yon malakas ang mga octopus dito. O kapag March, abot mga 20 kilo, 10 kilos, ganon. Mahina talaga kung November. Depende sa laki at saka maliit, mayroong mga walo, lima, ganun. Kahalagang 100 o 110 yung isang kilo. Ang buhay ngayon, 
kasi kahit konti pinag pinagtitiisan kahit ng tatlong araw di kami makadala doon na maraming kami mabayaran mahal pang mga bilihin ngayon kung ito lang ang ta ito lang ang asahan natin ula tao dito tahimik wala tayong marinig na gulo o mababait ang mga tao dito Ma'am ako po si Nips Masawaban uh, 33 years old na Ito po ang aking kwento ako ng octopus almost mag 10 years bale sideline lang po namin yan uh, sa kabila po ng bahay namin nagbibili din po sila ng isda at uh, tapos po naisipan po namin yung octopus na lang ang namin binibili para hindi po siya hindi naman po masyadong malaki ang kita sa octopus hindi naman po araw-araw kung mga isang week, mayroon nag, nagdadala. Ay, yung kinikita namin po, yun na po ang ginagastos namin sa araw-araw at saka po sa mga eskwela ng mga bata. Ang dinideliver namin sa sanggali po sa fishing port. Sa mga susunod na panahon, tutuloy ako bibili ng octopus kasi po dyan po akong kumukuha ng mga gasto namin sa pang-araw-araw sa mga anak po po ng papasok ng eskwela. Kapag nawala ang octopus, siyempre po malulungkot kami kasi po yan po ang anak buhay namin. High population in many areas increases uh, degradation of resources because of the extraction, because of impact of too many people in the environment, um, lifestyle of people that are wasteful, producing a lot of plastic in the environment. Uh, the volume increases with population growth. Government. Uh, and the human society uh, would really do their share in uh, protecting these resources. I can say that if we let this, the, the way our consumption patterns and our attitudes bring us to future ruin, and that the sustainability of our resources will really be put to rest. FIPs are a multi-stakeholder efforts to address an environmental challenge in a fishery. They use the power of the private sector, and this is the, the stakeholders of the value change, to incentivize positive change towards sustainability in, in the fishery. And they seek to make these changes last in time through a changes in policy and management at governmental level. The, the, the octopus is a key commodity for the Philippines because it's, it provides uh, thousands of employments to small scale and artisanal fishermen throughout the country. And it also uh, represents an important source of income uh, thanks to the, to the exports of, of the octopus, since the, 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 the octopus is mainly traded to the United States of, of America market. 
Uh, but despite these facts, the knowledge of the fishery in, in the Philippines is still, is still lim lim limited. So we saw an opportunity with the GMC project support to design the fisheries improvement project targeting octopus in collaboration with the local industry and the fisheries administration, which objective is to conduct the first stock assessment of the octopus and based on the results of that stock assessment, uh, recommend harvest control measures and reference points to better manage the, the fishery. from the office of the city agriculturist Sambuanga City. Today I will prepare the most delicious recipes uh, in Sambuanga City which is the Kilawin Octopus. Kugita. My name is Glenn Yap. I'm the plant manager for YL Seafood Processing Plant. A YL Fishing Corporation started around 1997. So we started the seafood processing line uh, at 2009. So basically our concentration here is an octopus. Uh, the octopus is being uh, caught in the region of Holo, Basilan, and Tawi-Tawi. And usually the fishermen would catch in the morning and bring it to the pier in the afternoon. So we would start receiving the raw material around 12 to 5 p.m. So when the raw material is delivered here, so we process uh, unto the specs of the customers. Uh, basically for the octopus, our market is centered towards uh, Europe, uh, USA, 
uh, some Asian markets like Japan, Korea. Our production line is dependent upon the requirements of the customers. So basically, they want it whole. So it's whole round. Uh, we just clean it, remove the, the teeth, uh, wash, then pack. As simple as that. Yeah. The raw material has been stable all these years. I think the slight change would be the sizes. For the past three years, the sizes have been going smaller. Unlike before, we have more large. Uh, now, it's more small sizes. Hi, I'm CJ Abbey. I'm the career officer of the C-Jump Group. Um, in C-Jump Group, we have four plants. So, the major, the major supplier of, of the C-Jump Group is the Mwanga plant. Um, in average, uh, in Zamboanga, we have five to six tents. However, in lead season, we have two to three tents of, of octopus. In octopus processing, we have two different processes. First is for fresh frozen, and the other one is for cooked frozen products. During shipment, it will be queued up by the plant manager going to Manila. The Manila will uh, conduct final boxing or final cartooning. Good trade actually contributes to good relations uh, with, with other countries. Um, of course, uh, if we have good relations at the outset, then it makes trade relations easier. Right? But, um, but, but I think it's more of if you have good trade relations, then it's easier to sustain the good relationship with other countries. Well, it's always the partnership with the local government units, the fishermen, the stakeholders. Take care of the municipal water. We make it sustainable. We take care of the whole fishing industry. So, at least ang uh, aming uh, uh, thrust ngayon para dito sa aming association is, uh, I think, para mapakita namin sa mundo na sustainable ang octopus natin, di ba? Kailang i-document namin, di ba? Yung panghuhuli, yun yung mga uh, programa natin, papaano natin uh, imamanage yung fisheries natin, papaano natin tutulungan yung mga fishermen na maging aware sila na dapat alagaan natin yung ating resources. Consumers or the stakeholders have to verify that real action is happening on the fisheries improvement project. We live within, within our ecosystem and our environment. It should start from us. Um, we cannot teach our children these values of conservation and protection of environmental protection unless we ourselves uh, do it and we believe that we are actually the agents of of sustainability in our planet Earth. We have to put our acts together, not just the BFAR, not just the government, but including the private sector as well, to join hands together in order to preserve our resources. And we have to do it now in order to have a food secure Philippines and a prosperous farmers and fisher folk. A 
Ako po si Nedsma Sawaban. Ako po si Mutarib Sahawi. Ako po ay si Yasin Julayli. Ako po si Usin Atan, taga dito sa Santa Cruz Island. Nanganak ako dito 1974, 45 years old. Ito po ang aking kwento.